And we're back with some more oxygen not included on Rhyme. And today we're going to be starting on space rockets. Well, we're going to start on a steam rocket. First up though, uh, just off screen there, I did one or two minor modifications. I set up these second set of atmosphere docks and I've got my duplicates now cycling in and out. Only downside is one of our poor duplicates here is Stephen. Stephen, how are you doing? Let's check out your skills and let's go to your athletics and we'll see. Yeah, you got minus three. Um, I didn't wait until they'd got the, the skill in atmo in uh, exosuit training. They haven't quite gotten it yet, but everyone else has, so I wasn't going to hang around waiting for them. Anyway, all that done. Another thing we're trying to get our hands on is uh, I'm trying to cut out here and here and I'm trying to explore the rest of the map just so I can find the last of the geysers and at the same time knock out one more achievement, which is uh, explore 80% of the map. Yeah. So time to get started on up here. We want to put in a steam rocket. Now, how we're going to do this exactly, I'm not sure. There's no way we're using power to get the steam, so it's probably going to have to rely on regolith. However, the regolith's not very hot. I think what's going on here is the, the meteors come down hot. Like, this stuff over here is all very, very toasty. So the new stuff that comes down is toasty, but the old stuff was so chill, it's taking a while. And that's the kind of the, what we want to use to heat. We don't have the power to spare, so we're going to be using regular to power our steam rocket. Uh, first up, we're going to need to dig all of this area out. And maybe not first up, there is a... Oh, there's a shovel over here, isn't there? I need to maybe make a location to store all those shovels up so they're not going to become a problem. Yeah, uh, I think it's time to make a quick box down here and start capturing shovel legs. This here is going to be my little... Uh, shovel storing facility. I'm going to make the tiles out of obsidian because they can't burrow through that. It used to be they could only burrow through, um, or they couldn't burrow through refined metal and that was it, they could burrow through everything else, but obsidian has been upgraded so now I can make the tiles out of obsidian. The doors, however, the pneumatic ones, they have to be made of steel. Um, I can't make them out of any... Oh, what the... Great, my, my dupes just got a quick elevator. You know what, we'll just uh, do that, you should be fine. Hey, stop freaking. Stop freaking, you got this, you got this, just, uh, there we go. <laughs> they had a bit of a freak out there when they suddenly found themselves, oh, come on, again? Ah, uh, yes, that's just, just perfect, perfect, let's uh, make the priority here and these a little higher, might as well. Oh, <laughs> okay, fine, that's how you want to play it. Let's just dig you down so you don't have a choice. And yeah, they're just going to freak out. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Your, your your software just doesn't know what to do because you're trapped. There you go. Now, I want you to dig your way down. Christ. How does this happen so often? Oh. Mm. Okay, done. Done, done, done. Sorry about that. It's just uh, this game... <laughs> they always find ways to trap themselves no matter what you do though it is kind of because I have so many of them going around doing this if I cut down on the numbers this probably wouldn't be as bad uh, never mind um, yeah I'm going to finish that off and once we've got that up and oh yeah that's why that's not doing up that's a low priority I had set everything to three I was doing a bunch of low priority digs around the map that's why that's happened my bad let's uh, get the basis of our rocket started as well I want to get that up and running sooner rather than later uh, what else do we need doing oh yeah I'm going to need somewhere to cook the steam and I'm probably going to want to use this regolith over here. This regolith over here is fresh and it's hot. Uh, I do want to get my paws on that though. How the hell am I going to... You know what? We'll go up the sides. And over here we can... Yeah, we'll just go straight up there. That should be fine. And that should be the hot regolith I throw in and hopefully that can boil enough steam for me to get two rocket launches out of this. To do this boiling, uh, I've come up with another uh, very ghetto system here. This is going to be insulated tiles made of mafic rock. And then we're going to have a couple of gas pumps in here. We're going to pump in the water into the bottom of this and we're going to have this whole area filled with regolith. Hopefully enough hot regolith to boil as enough steam as we need to get two uh, steam out rockets out. Well, let's hope. Um, at the same time, how have you trapped yourself there? You've done it, but I still don't believe you did it. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I will have to mop all this junk up as well. How is there too much liquid there? Uh, there is a simple way to get rid of that problem. Yeah, so once that's up and running, I'm going to put in a few uh, dispensers. I'll throw in a couple of automatic dispensers. They don't even need to be hooked up to anything. Their only job will be to just pour regolith in here. Though I'll probably want to... Oh yeah, I'll have to remove some ladder segments to do it, but that can wait. Uh, yeah, we'll get this sorted and then we'll move on. 
Just realized I should probably seal that hole, considering it's, you know, the vacuum of space that's through here, and that's the whole reason that liquid lock is there. <laughs> I love how I keep forgetting even the most simple things. Uh, hatchlings, don't care. Spicy tofu. You know what? We might take that. It's not like we're running short of hatchlings at the moment. If we check on our hatchling population, how are we looking right now? Yes, we have a lot of hatchlings. We're also going to have a few excess... Uh, mm, Smooth hatches, the ones that eat iron and metal. Uh, oh, and refinement-wise, iron ore, we've somehow managed to make about another... We've got about 4.6 tons of iron. I was using these to refine iron. There's a few questions as to why I was using these to refine iron, when I should use those to make energy intensive. I should use iron and steel through this and use the energy from that to power a steam turbine or something. Well, at the time, I didn't have the option to use a steam turbine, though now I do. No, no, I'll get back to that there. Um, but I wanted to refine the iron because I've, I've only been using this to make steel. Literally, that's all I've been using it for because it's just so energy intensive. Though we are getting a nice backup. We should maybe turn that back on again. Iron to steel. Yeah, we're going to need more of that. Um, so yeah, I was just using that entirely only for steel just as it, because it was more energy cost efficient than doing anything else. And temperature wise, the base is starting to look warmer. Like look there, we've got actual warmth going on. Less chance of stuff freezing, and the electrolyzer setup has definitely given off some heat. It's melted every single piece of ice in the surrounding area. We don't care. Everyone is now in exosuits. We don't even need to mop it up unless we, you know, unless it's going to be a problem. Which reminds me, I should probably cancel those mop operations. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that can all go. We don't need to worry about that being mopped. This over here is... Oh, yeah, here we go. We're going to stop anyone from going in there. We're going to stop anyone from going in there. And then all we're going to do is set this to scoop up eggs. Now all the shovel eggs on the map, they're all going to be brought here. We'll put that to a decently high priority. It will take me about 100 cycles, but I'll get rid of all the shovels that are right there. Now, why is that not being built? Give me a priority six on that. I'm also going to need to build a ladder up so I can put in the necessary scaffolding, and we're making ourselves a six research module high rocket. Uh, also, why are these not being built yet? My dupes, my dupes, what have you been doing with yourselves? This will be my steam box. I think I should probably, though, put a tiny little layer of petroleum in here just to help with the uh, uh, the heat transfer. There's a bug currently that was pointed out by Tony Advanced only when it comes to heat transfer. If I'm going to be pumping water in here into a high-pressure steam environment, I might want to put a little, little layer of petroleum down there. Yeah, so bottle emptier it is. Oh, wait, no. I don't have a pool of petroleum to draw on, do I? I've just realized all my petroleum is inside a liquid tank and I have no way of getting it out. There's no convenient way of getting liquid out of this and just getting a few drops somewhere you want it without building an entire pipe from down here up to the top of the map. You know what? I think I'll just use some crude oil instead. Crude oil we have plenty of should do the exact same job. I have queued up the, the crude oil to get dropped down there, but at the same time, I've also queued up a bunch of sweep commands for all of this regolith around the place. But not quite all of it. Some of it here, like this stuff, is only 170C. That, that's not quite hot enough. I made sure it was all 200 degrees or above. So we're having a... I, I, I'm, I'm very picky about the regolith, it seems, that goes in here. Uh, you know what? 190 might be good enough, considering... I want to make sure I put enough in there, because otherwise I'm going to have to open it up, and that would be bad. I don't want to have to open this thing, but thing back up again. If I have to open it back up again, I'm going to lose all the steam I just put in. Ooh, which reminds me, I'm also going to want to put in some power. Conductive wire, but do I really want to be using lead in here? Uh, is it really going to get that hot? I think I'm... Mm, I think I'm going to risk it. Probably not my smartest move, but I'm going to risk it. Anyway, once we've got some regolith in there, we can start uh, generating some steam. And once we've got the steam, we can start filling up the steam rocket. And once we've got the steam rocket built, we can then launch it. I have no intention of... Oh, how much space do I have here? I should count this up. Yeah, I've got 43 tiles. That's enough to make this rocket, but that was not... Yeah, I thought I would have more space here. I, I really did. I thought I was just tucked in on top. Normally when you're tucked in on the top of uh, this... Mm, the background? I don't know. The background that's not vacuum. One where you can store atmosphere by default. If you're just on top of that, you usually have a little bit more room than this. Oh well. It, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, for the gas pumps up here, I think we're going to be running a whole manual battery generator thing uh, to keep this functioning. Reason being, I don't want to put any more strain on my power grid than there already is. Hmm, you know what? Yeah. We're going to put in some power wires for that. Power-wise, that looks okay. The power will come down here, bounce across down there, and we'll hook it up to three manual generators. Yeah, I desperately need more power. And I've also been thinking this, uh, the steel in here, now that I've got enough plastic, I should really be recycling the heat from this so that I can get more energy out of it. Making the iron, I can turn a bunch of that back into power. So I think we're going to let this just finish up whatever it's doing. We'll give it one. Yeah, we'll finish. 
you can you can finish off the one it's currently making. But once that's done, yeah, I think we're going to start making uh, making it somewhere else. Uh, plastic wise, this has been turning out quite profitably for me. Uh, I was going to disable this and stop using it for more because this is what drained my power grid the last time. However, if I'm moving this out of here and moving it instead upstairs, I think we can we can afford that power drain, which means we can keep making more plastic, of which we have not enough. I've been slowly but surely replacing this stuff as we go along. But there's never enough, never enough, never enough. But it is helping increase my movement speed. Um, another thing I want to do is once this rocket is launched, I'm going straight into building a second electrolyzer over here. Reason being, that will uh, simplify things entirely. Ah! to replace that again. It will simplify this entirely because I'll be able to make a lot more hydrogen, which means I'll be able to generate a lot more energy and get super sustainable a lot faster. I have decided to make a slight change. I'm going to move this uh, entire critter ranch down here, or this yeah, shovel storage facility down a couple of levels. Uh, reason being the rocket exhaust is going to cook it if I don't, so yeah, I should probably take care of that. Oh, and we just hit another colony achievement. Uh, I think it was down the hatch. I saw it in the bottom right. Down the hatch. Produce 10 tons of refined metal using smooth hatches. Put production, 10 of 10. Excellent. That's another one knocked out. Uh, okay, I'm just going to move them all down there, and that should hopefully stop any of that. Oh, that has to go. Also, that has to go. And I put that on the wrong side. That should be over there. If I drop the eggs down here, my duplicates will be able to grab the eggs, and it'll result in an infinite loop. We want to avoid that. Anyway, let's skip this forward a bit more. I'm going to... Ooh, that's going to be hot red regolith, isn't it? Uh, no, it's touching ice. You know, I might want to excavate at the bottom here so I can capture that regolith. That could be very useful for making some steam. Anyway, we'll chop that up and see what happens. Anyway, we're going to uh, have to survive all of this lovely, lovely meteors that are going to be falling down. But on the bright side, they'll be bringing lots of hot regolith that we can use. Whoa! Ouch. Ouch. Okay, just uh, make sure the... Yeah, it's the metal meteors that do the most damage. The regolith ones don't do nearly as much as the metal ones. The metal ones, they hurt. Yes, things are definitely slowing down. I have way, way, way too much stuff running. Uh, I've put everything here to six just to make sure it gets done. I have dig commands all over here, uh, all across here. I've set the priorities, though, all slightly differently on all of them. Just so, like, for example, those are all twos, some of these are threes, some of them are fours. Just to spread out the, uh, the joy. I've also got some dig commands going over here because I'm pretty sure there's a locker in there. And I want to get lockers so that I can start finding clothing. I might as well get some snazzy suits and stick them on some of these dupes. Uh, Deadpool is definitely going to be the first one to get a snazzy suit because they deserve it. And as for the warm sweater, that can go to... Yeah, I'm going with Steven Universe on that one. He, he seems like the type that would wear a sweater. Anyway, uh, we've got... Oh yeah, one thing I need to do is I want to expand plastic production. The reason being, this plastic is quite useful. And I figure since I'm moving out my metal refinement from this area, why not put down another plastic press? Oh, wrong button. Rotate. Uh, power... Yeah, I'm getting confused between rotations and uh, copy. I think B is to copy, but in RimWorld it's O, and O is to rotate in this game, though. It's not to copy, so I'm getting confused between the two, and it's driving me a little bit crazy. But I'll, I'll adapt, I'll adapt. Um, yeah, we don't need an insulated pipe for that. We'll just extend that pipe on a little bit. There'll be some level 5 commands. I'm going to have to make all... All the space stuff is going to have to be level 6 commands just so I can make sure it gets done. Oh, that's what's wrong. I still have this door here. I'm a moron. That door needs to go. Everyone now has suits so that everyone can now access up here. Ugh, Muffet. Oh, I also realized that, yeah, this, this gas is escaping out through here. I can't seem to care. <laughs> I, I, the way I figure it is the amount of gas I'm going to lose is being tiny. People in the comments are saying it as well, so I can worry about that later. So since everyone, all 20 duplicates are in that, well, suits, all I have to do is keep my home base oxygenated, which is way, way, way down here. And if we check, I believe I did set up this to dump off some oxygen around here. You know what? I'll put in a, a few more gas vents and we can make sure that the bedrooms stay oxygenated. There we go. Now we'll make sure that they definitely get oxygen. This central pipe is the one I'm using to oxygenate areas. And the two side ones, remember, are the ones for the atmosphere docks. Uh, oh, telescope is idle again. That's not good. Um, oh, I was doing some quick math in the background. I need, is it 11 planets or 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I need to explore 10 planets to get enough research to hammer out all of the space research. Um, that one's not the gassy moose. One second, which one's got the gassy moose? Oh no, this one has the gassy moo. I need one planet to get me a gassy moo and that will be fine. That's the closest organic mass, we'll go with it. So now on, well, from now on, all I want to do is hopscotch all the way out. I only need to do to explore one planet in a ring and then I can move on to the next and the next. 
So I'm just going to hopscotch all the way out to the tear because, well, that's the only thing we care about. These close by planets, just want them for research and hopefully some fullerene. Furthest away planets, the only reason we want those is so we can get all the way out to the dimensional tear. And now all of my pawn or all of my dupes can get up here and access this area. This should hopefully speed this along because I was thinking it was taking too long. I hope we have enough regolith in here to provide the heating required, but I can't wait any longer. I'm going to have to seal this up uh, for water sources for this to pump it in. I'm going to go with the warmest water I have available, which is over here under the steam vent. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So we take the water out of here, we pump it right up. Uh, it goes into here and there. Hopefully it should get turned into steam. Once we have enough, we turn this on and that should pump the steam into the steam rocket and everything should theoretically well work. Uh, power wise, we're all running it off three manual generators up here because I am not running a power wire all the way down. Well, OK, I suppose I already have, but I don't want to put any more strain on my system. And this is going to take quite a bit of power for quite a bit of time. Worst comes to worst, I might end up doing it, but I'd rather not. There's already so much what, building broken ladder. No, that we don't care. And telescope idle that we do care about. Next planet. So, uh, yeah, um, is there an achievement for getting all the planets? I don't think there is an achievement for exploring, uh, for looking at exploring all the planets, so I think we're safe on that front. And anyway, once that's all done, we can start this up and start pumping in some liquid. Oh, I put this little heat shield here around this liquid shutoff, because the liquid shutoff is made of iron, but it has an overheat temperature of about 125, sitting right beside a steam engine. I think that might be a bad idea. So yeah, little heat shield here, they should hopefully all the steam should dissipate before it gets to it. Uh, I feel like I should point out, while all this is going on, it turns out, yes, the... Uh, the Gravitas Center is over here. That's how that uh, that achievement got ticked off. I've also found uh, another vent over here or geyser. So we're going to have a look and see what's there. I would also like to gain access to here. There's about 1.2 tons of steel tied up in this building that I could hopefully demolish for some resources. I think I might dig across here when I've got time, but I just honestly do not have the time just yet. And by the same token, ooh, you know, we can put it, we can cap off the top of this rocket. We still do have about eight tons of steel. So it's not like we're desperate for it yet. Ah, perfect. Now, all I have to do is figure figure out if I can get this steam pumping. Just finish off all the cables. Dupes, come on, you got this. So, our system has started pumping water in, which yeah, is not transferring heat nearly as quickly as I would like, but hey, what can you do? Uh, let's check the two above and turn that off for a second. Does it steam up? Ooh, yeah, this is a problem. I need to get 120 kilos of steam per tile. I did a, I did some math in the background. It's 719, 720 kilos of steam to launch this sucker. So say, yeah, 719. So I need to launch two of these, and then they all have to go in here somehow. Or all of that has to go in here, and there's four, eight, twelve tiles, so it's 1440 kilos divided by 12, so it's about 120 kilos of steam per tile. Though unfortunately, there is no steam being generated just now, is there? I probably should have put more oil in there. Hmm. Oh wait, that's too much going in. Turn that off. Okay, is that actually stopping it? Yes, okay, it seems to be stopping it. Yeah, let's see if this works out. I, uh, I don't know if there was enough regolith or enough heat in all of this to make this all work. To try and adapt to this problem, I am going to install a quick temperature shift plate here. Oh, why are you turning on? You should not be turning on. Oh, and all of that excess regolith is starting to cause that to turn to steam. That's fine. I only put in a little bit of water so far. I don't care if I lose it. I just want to get all this new fresh regolith in there, and hopefully that's going to help me get this, uh, this whole system running a lot more efficiently. Yeah, this oil is not working out for me. I don't think I put enough in there. It's, it's not even a kilo or two. It's only a few kilos, so I think I'm just going to mop it up. And see if that helps. Uh, we'll cancel that. We just want to get rid of the oil. And hopefully this will allow us to get this running. Oh, we're getting steam already. That's, yeah, that would seem to be the trick. Uh, my bad. Yeah, let's seal that a sucker up now. And we've kind of got this functioning. Uh, how much steam have we got in this rocket? Uh, well, kind of is maybe a bit of an exaggeration. I'm going to dump in a, a, a fair chunk of water in here. And then we're going to turn it off. And I think I've got roughly enough, but that should uh, hopefully flash to steam. And when it does have a finally flash to steam, we should have enough steam to fill up our rocket, which means I need to find someone to scrub to send on our rocket. Before a quick skill, scrub skill scrubbing, though, we've got to rename a few dupes. Uh, Black Canary got voted beast uh, for unconstructive, destructive, but they've got researching in it. So, yeah, beast it is. Uh, the Atom got no votes for some reason. No one cared. Zeitgeist got more goats, votes than anyone had ever seen. This used to be Ada, and everyone was... Guess for it, wait for it, Professor X. I don't think I'd seen as many votes as this one received because they're triophobic, unconstructive, uh, 
a vomiter and interior director I don't get, but the ranching and doctoring, everyone was like, yeah, it's got to be Professor X. I agree. It was a really good call. And Professor X it is. For Starlight, the general vote was Black Widow. Uh, I I suppose I had to agree with them on that one. It turns out they have red hair, twinkle toes for a combat style, and immunity to poison from her work as a spy because she's got iron gut. Uh, it seems to work. As for the deep and Deadpool, no one cared. Everyone just left those ones. I don't think a single person commented on those. They're like, yeah, that's close enough. They, they ran out of uh, enthusiasm at that point as well. And Steven Universe wasn't around for the last one. If, if you came up with a better name for Steven, uh, go for it. <laughs> I may be running short on naming somewhere near the end. My, my inspiration ran out. Anyway, now we need to do some skill scrubbing. I've decided when it comes to the skill scrubbing, we're going to assign Dr. Bane. Uh... Yeah, Dr. Bane is our best choice at the moment because when it comes down to the skill trees here, I've been looking through them and I think the closest we can get are, we need eight skill points. Eight skill points will get them all the way out to rocket navigation. And I prefer if someone had a few, had a like of something in here, but the only person who has any like for anything is Dr. Bane with their improved caring. Well, Bruce Banner does as well, but we need a researcher. So yeah, everyone else is just not good enough. Oh, except for the Flash. The Flash has their like in suiting suits, but... Uh, yeah, they're in ranching. I need my ranchers, so tough. The Flash gets to stay where they are. Quicksilver would be great as well, but they only have seven. They don't only have seven points. They need eight before they'll become useful. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to get them skill scrubbed in there. Once they're skill scrubbed, oh, well, we'll assign them out to the rocket. And if you go back up top, has this turned to steam yet? No, it's still trying to equalize the temperature. God, this is taking too long. I should have used the uh, the trick with the rails. This is going to slow me down. As long as I get the second rocket launched in time, should be fine. Uh, while that is all going on, we're going to start prep work for another electrolyzer. Probably, you know what, I would prefer to have backing for it. Uh, Myrtle leaf seeds, dirt. You know what, we just take the dirt, I suppose. I prefer to have a background for my next electrolyzer setup because I want the background to keep the gases in. If I build it in space, I have to put build in the backing plates to stop the gas escaping. Though that might be a faster way to accumulate more hydrogen. Hmm, just let me think about that for a second. I think I will build the electrolyzer in space and I might be able to save energy by not having gas pumps to pump out the oxygen. Instead, I can just let the oxygen dissipate into the void and that should hopefully generate me more hydrogen to play around with because I won't be spending as much uh, powering the whole system. I've never tried it before, but... Uh, well, it's never stopped me before. Let's, get, let's give it a try and see what happens. So I dug all the way across here. I'm going to go into the Gravitas Center just so I can get my hands on those windows. Uh, as well as that, I've got the problem of all these voles in here I'm going to have to deal with. Um, I think I'm just going to demolish this whole section. I've got some good dupes, so it shouldn't be that hard. Oh, that reminds me. For speed movement, how are we doing on plastic? I've got two plastic presses up now, so this should allow us to replace most of this. Oh, so close, so close. I just want to get rid of uh, all the regular ladders. And then we should be good to go. I, I had also forgot to put in the gas vent there. I'm sure a few of you were screaming at me that I forgot to put in the high-pressure vent to let it out. I re remembered eventually when I came back to check in this a while ago. Uh, and that petroleum thing has run in the meantime. And how are we looking on gas? Ooh, I've managed to accumulate some hydrogen. Well, you know, that means we can start making more stuff. Oh, and as well as that, that means... Where is it? Bane should now be skill-scrubbed. Wait, why is Bane not skill-scrubbed? Bane, what's going on? I did a bit of a run around. It turns out uh, the priority in this wasn't high enough and Mr. Bane was uh, stuck inside a hamster wheel running somewhere. Uh, at the same time, this is this rocket almost fueled? No, not quite. It takes a little bit of a while to fuel it. It takes a fair chunk of power and it's all running on some manual generators. Yeah, I got to do an awful lot more digging. I've got to... Con and why is that still there? You, deconstruct that. I'm going to excavate this out and put it in our second oxygen setup. Another colony achievement came in. I have no idea what one this is. Ah, pulling back the veil. Reveal 80% of the map. Well, yeah, well, we have been doing a lot of exploring. Oh, that reminds me. Job, sustain a job suitability. Yeah, I can't believe I'm not hitting this. It turns out even with my dupes all in exosuits, some of them are not completing a task, a chore. What qualifies as a chore? I mean, is it a, a delivery, something? Ah, I'm going to have to do some research on that. Uh, bed and bath, nothing we can do on that. And super sustainable, how are we looking? Yeah, we're not even halfway there. That is that is horribly depressing. I am definitely setting this up and we are going to burn off a whole bunch more hydrogen once we get the second oxygen set up done. Oh, and how is it looking? Still not done. Mm. Yes, this is feeling very inefficient. Wait, how do I have a damaged overheating? I'm not crazy, right? There was a damaged overheating there a second ago. Oh, Robo Miner, what happened to you? 
Broken. What's your temperature? Is this the one? Yeah, temperature. Yeah, the temperature in that one got too hot. Uh, this is going to happen to me up here, namely because I just have... You know what? I think I may have enough to replace them with steel. That was probably what was giving me the overheating symbol. But I replaced these with steel, and that should allow me to... Um, that's as well. That should allow me to not have to worry about these so much. But like I said, this is a very, very messy build right now. And it's very... Mm, yeah, there's nothing very much I can do about all the little micromanagements I'm going to have to do to get this done. And how is your morale going to look after that? 21 of 29. You know what? We can live with that. Time to get you loaded up into the rocket, I think. Oh, I queued up plastic on all the ladders. It says I don't have... I have insufficient materials to make it all, but I don't care. That just means as the plastic becomes available, they'll build it in. Uh, up here, we're going to get uh, Mr. Bane assigned, and then we're going to select a destination, and hopefully that will be... F yeah, I keep forgetting how long it takes to fill that. We're almost there, though. Almost there. Once this is cored out, we'll put in the oxygen, though. Uh, yeah, I think rocket launches first, though. Well, I finally got the rocket field. It's up to 719 kilos, and this duplicate has also managed to trap themselves somehow. Good job, Steven. Amazing work. Oh, actually, no, it's more than Steven. There's... How many is there in there? Well, okay, it's several of them. And now they've managed to trap themselves again, because of course they did. Uh, anyway, yeah, time to launch this rocket. You, what, are you, what are you doing there? Oh, you know what, the gantry? I don't care even a little bit. You know what? Who, who cares? Let's show the star map. Let's find the nearest planet. You are going to that one. And please have fullerene. Please have fullerene. Please have fullerene. That's, that's what I would like. Why can I not launch the mission? Come on. Why, why can't you do it? What's wrong? What are we missing? No astronaut assigned? Dr. Bain is definitely assigned. We're going to make that priority eight. Okay, Dr. Bain, where are you? It would appear Dr. Bain is on their way to get food at the moment, so they're not uh, going to be coming along just yet, which is a slight annoyance. In the meantime, I am going to use that uh, opportunity to get our oxygen setup started. After some very calm and reasoned reloading and some testing, I've decided, yeah, I'm just going to make this an emergency priority and get Bane into this rocket, no matter what it takes, because they are soaking up my time. All right, there we go. At last. Uh, that means we can take that away from being an emergency priority. We'll just put that down to level five. There we go. Perfect. So, destination selected. Launch mission. Yes, we are going to wreck that uh, gantry. I don't care. Also, you might melt some ice. No. Didn't melt the ice. That's fine. Anyway, so that means that one rocket should come back with enough ooh, colony achievement earned. I'm going to assume that's one about launching a rocket. Space race. Launch your first rocket into space. Done and dusted. Now I'm going to put in the second rocket, which I'm trying to build over here. I want to build a second rocket, but I'm trying to give myself about 50 tiles of space just so I have some... Uh, I'm ready to expand into 50... 50 50, there we go. So I'll have 50 tiles of space. That should allow the next rocket to be able to go out uh, a little bit further. Oh, and this I've got to finish up too. Have almost managed to get this sort of looking as it's going to look. What I want to happen is I'm going to have the hydrogen hopefully float up to the top here. And the oxygen, instead of having gas pumps to extract it, I'm just going to have the vacuum of space suck it into the void. Well, that's the theory. No idea if it'll work. Um, over here, of course, I made these gas pumps out of gold amalgam because I am just that smart. <laughs> so they've overheated and now I've got problems. Um, yeah, I don't think I can repair those diagonally. I'm not sure. If I could repair those diagonally, that would be great. Uh, they will, of course, start overheating again, but that just means I can repair them diagonally when the rocket comes back, just hopefully long enough to fuel up the next rocket. It would be a little bit annoying. But if I can't, I'm going to have to break this open. And uh, let's see, urns. Yeah, no one can get at that one. Maybe this one? Nope. So I'm going to have to break this open and then fill it back up with steam. Maybe have to put in some more regolith. Well, on the bright side, we do have a lot more regolith that's just fallen down recently. So, yeah... Repair time. Before I close this up again, I'm going to inject some more regolith. Uh, how much time do I have left? Star map, 77% complete. Uh, yeah, I've got to try and have this ready to go to start refueling this rock at the moment it returns. Uh, not my smart display. Uh, at the same time, we're going to want to deconstruct. What are you doing? Okay, you know what? Uh, I don't care. Do what you got to do, buddy. It's fine. Uh, we're going to get rid of all of those. Uh, um, you know what? I am going to need a gantry, aren't I, right there, just to make sure that that gets done right. Yeah, one there. Perfect. Uh, have we finished all the sweeping? I think all the sweeping is done, is it? One last piece. Once that's in, we're going to seal this all off. And we're going to set the priority on these to quite high, because we need this all done on a tight time frame. 
I mean, 300, cycle 365 seems like it's a long way away, but yeah, that's going to catch up on me awful quickly. Uh, very quickly. Mm. Now I need to also do this, and I need to find out somewhere to plug this into my systems. I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to have the, a big, huge chunk of hydrogen storage tanks. I'll probably put them... Mm, no, I don't want to put them down here. Uh, let me think about this for a second. And this is what I decided on in the end. I'm going to have uh, several gas tanks down here. I'm going to fill them all up with... Well, I'm going to use them to store my hydrogen. And then the hydrogen is going to come down here and I'm going to have to build in, well, hydrogen generation room. Power, water, everything. All of it's going to come through this one section. And I need to figure out where I'm going to have to brick this off. Wherever the vacuum starts or ends. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard. But once that happens, uh, I don't want to let all even more gas out of here. I've already got it all va evacuating out through here. Oh, what are you doing there? You know what? Let's uh, wrangle you and you can go join your brother. Oh, great. That's why I don't like trying to wrangle these when, when you're on a, a, the clock. The reason being, they're really hard to wrangle. The moment they dig into the wrong place, no one will find them. And a dupe that's halfway through doing something will just abort and go somewhere else. Uh, you know what? Let's put in a brick of something right about there. There will be fine. And we'll make that a priority six. Uh, well, I'll skip this forward a bit. It's all just going to be... Oh, is this ready to go? Yes, we can start filling this up again. I need to have more steam ready. Uh, I'll skip this forward. I'm just going to fill this up with some steam and hopefully we'll have enough steam here ready to go when the rocket comes back. Well, unfortunately, the rocket has already arrived and I'm not quite ready to refuel it with steam. Uh, but soon, hopefully, soon I will have enough. Uh, we've... Oh, yeah, excellent. We've also got our databanks and I've freed Dr. Strange who accidentally got trapped. Stuff happens. Uh, also, we damaged our landing pad. Never mind. All of that is done. I'm not going to complain about it. I think, well, that gives us enough research to knock out... Ooh, second, it must have been all wonky after the reload. That'll get us solid fuel combustion and we'll get hydrocarbon once the second rocket comes back. So yeah, that will get us the basis for petroleum. Oh, that reminds me, I'm going to have to make an oxalate refinery. So much to do, so little time. Um, ooh. Also, yeah, let's start piling modules on here. I want to make sure I'm ready to go on this side also. Uh, put that there. Yeah, yeah. I'll skip this forward a bit, and hopefully we'll have some more. Uh, we'll have some more steam ready to go shortly. That's heating up slowly but surely. Uh, the steam has been pumping for a while now, but it does take seven hundred and sixteen seconds to fill this whole thing. So a whole cycle to fill it, which is kind of painful. Uh, at the same time, you know what? That can stay there. At the same time, I've been uh, completing this over on this side, and I've been setting this to pretty high priority to get it done. This is uh, quite important. You know what? Let's set uh, everything up here to about seven. I want the second rocket ready to go, so the moment that we get uh, access to petroleum rockets, we can start modifying this. Uh, down here, well, this this has turned out to be a rather large construction project. Well, I need some way to burn off the hydrogen I'm making, so I need to make a hydrogen control room for it. So, uh, well, first thing I did was I installed a gas filter here. This gas filter is going to filter out the hydrogen and make sure it goes in here, and the oxygen that's going to come out at the start is going to get dumped out there. Well, yes, let's hope that works. Yeah, like I said, this thing, whole thing is just a, a prototype. I have no idea if it's going to work. Uh, okay, so that gas, though, that gas is going to come down here, and then we're going to have that gas routed down here to a, a power room we're making, and I'm going to make an actual power room running entirely on hydrogen. The gas pipe should come down through here and feed into those. We're going to have our little uh, power control brick there to help us out also. You know what? We will do this as well. Oop, no, back, back. There we go. That's going to power everything, and I've stuck in a couple of large transformers here. I'm going to try and power the top half of the map with this. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, well, that's still filling. Let's have a quick ba look back at the home base. At the home base, I've started up the steel again, namely because I have the power for it. There's still hydrogen in these reservoirs, though I should probably stop about that. No more fabrication security. I stopped it so I could put in, yeah, equip some exosuits. I wanted a few more exosuits because I'm going to need those for... Yeah, well, I want to fill up these ducks, and at the same time, I also want to have a few ready for the extra rockets I'm going to be building. And on top of that, I've had to replace one of these with steel because it was overheating down here. This one is... Oh, that one's fine. And we now have even more petroleum made. And why is that... Oh, damaged overloading, yes. My power grid is a little bit... is running a little bit hot. We have uh, 1.74 kilowatts, 1.5. You can see it going up and down, but occasionally we do go over the limit. It's just going to happen. I have way too much stuff everywhere drawing power. Uh, it might be time to start deleting these batteries. I don't think I need them. It's still like minus 20 something down here. Oh yeah, never mind. I'm getting distracted. Let's have a quick look at the temperature overlay map. Uh, yeah, we've got a few blobs of temperature for industry has been going on, especially there where I've been refining steel. Um, 
space, it looks, yes, it, space is the multicolor spectrum. It always is. Well, okay, it's multicolored for now. Eventually, it will just all be red, burning, hot. From what I've seen, I'm a little bit over the 30 minute marks on the mark on the footage, so I'm going to cut this out here. But when we come back in, it's going to be, well, launching the second rocket. Well, okay, I'll launch that second rocket pretty much at the end of this. There we go. Done, dusted, ready to launch. Might as well get this finished. I don't want to. I don't want to leave you guys hanging on the second rocket launch. Now, yes, definitely the rocket symbol is now over on this. Oh, what do we get over here? Yes, Fullerene. Fullerene is the closest planet. I, I couldn't ask for anything better than that. That's that's essentially what I need. Fullerene, I'm going to need to make the, uh, the switch over to... Mm. I'm going to need that to make the switch over to liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. Which is, okay, a little bit further down the line, I will admit, but it's good to have it now. That second rocket will bring us back all the necessary research points for our next section. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. Uh, next up, we'll be doing petroleum rocketry and hammering out pretty much all the science, if at all possible. Uh, after that, we'll be getting... Well, oh, and we'll also be trying to fire this up and seeing if it works. Um, yeah, I have no idea if that's going to work at all. And uh, mop that up. Also, yeah, finishing up this power brick. There's, there's, there's lots to do. Lots to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck.